Are you ready for this adventure with me at Singapore Zoo? Come on, let's begin. Guys, so today we've come to the Singapore Zoo. We're gonna show you exactly how the Singapore Zoo looks from inside. So we're just gonna get in now, you know, after quarantine in phase two, the Singapore Zoo. I hope you guys love it. So we've just entered the Singapore Zoo. So they have time slots. Currently we have entered at the 10 a.m. to 10.45 a.m. time slots. So just for all you guys, so there are these animal shows that are lined up. So each one has their slots. And then this is the map of Singapore Zoo. As soon as you enter, you will find these maps as to where all the creatures are. So that's the white tiger. Can't wait to see this one again. So I've actually been here but coming in COVID times is actually you feel bliss. You actually start feeling that you're so lucky to come in where a lot of people can't have this luxury. So it's really amazing to be here. Look at that, that is so beautiful, fish is just... All have just gathered at one place and they just look extremely still. See the fishes are so still.
So another interesting part of the Singapore Zoo is the amount of information they provide not just the animals but also the trees, the plants. So you can see these are tropical crops and they've given a right brief, you know these are forest treasures. So this is the tropical uh, crops section that I just showed you, you know, which are the different crops. Part about this is that especially if you're coming with children, it's not just scenic but I think each plant has its importance, each plant has been defined, exactly the evolution and what part of it makes very special. So now we have the pomelo here, as you can see here. It is the biggest of all citrus fruits, also known as Shadok, named after Captain Shadok, who brought it from Java to the West Indies. I, even I didn't know this. So it's absolutely wonderful to get your kids here because they'll get to know a lot about fruits and how the evolution, where it originated from. Both, both of them have come out.
This guy is beautiful. It's the Indian Gharial. It's the Indian Gharial. So proud. One of a very different crocodile. See its mouth right in the front. It's like pointed. Just some facts. And critically endangered, guys. Critically endangered. Look at this beautiful creature. So huge, this crocodile is. I can't believe this. This is crazy ass big crocodile. You can see it. So behind me there is this Kidzania that you can see. This is a good stop if you're coming with children. And me and there are certain uh, you know rides also that you can utilize and it's good for the children to you know keep them entertained and really tired. So this is the Kidzania section in Singapore Zoo. That's the panther chameleon, toothless tortoise, then radiated tortoise. You can see the size of them. And then I nicely on plant-based diet. Wow. Come here. This is a butterfly paradise that you can see and all around me there are butterflies flying. It netted it really well. Oh, I just captured something so beautiful. Just see this butterfly eating. Wow, this is such a beautiful sight. They're having their meal. It's almost 1 pm. This is totally beautiful.
what a beauty look at the color coordination look at the shot that took what does one butterfly wants to say to another butterfly <laughs> You know, as we are living in COVID times, another aspect that when I visited the zoo, a lot of, a lot of, uh, I mean, a few of the creatures are actually extinct. You know, like some of the uh, tigers that were mentioned. I'm going to show it in my video. They're extinct. And similarly, you know, what's happening as you can see, frogs and other amphibians are threatened because of pollution, climate change, destruction of habitats, and this is being done by us humans. So I think for us to give back to society for our future generations that they can see these wonderful creatures. it's very important that we really preserve and at the same time l l let these habitats flourish and not take them down for the sheer greed that the human kind currently is you know by coming on to their you know land so please let's preserve this for our future <laughs> So you can see behind me is the lion enclosure, and we have few lions. I don't know. Yeah, is the one that you can see behind me sleeping? But what I want to show you is how well netted this enclosure is, and it really gives a proper protection to the animal. Plus. is extremely like it's kept very real it's very kept very nature and you can see there is a lion sleeping right here but the best part is the way it's uh, you know provided in terms of safety and security for the people who watch it see here is a net from where i am standing and there's a huge space from where i am to you know the actual enclosure where the tiger is and then you have this water stream that they have made which is for the water at the same time you know this helps in maintaining that distance between the animal also and you know there are certain fences i think which are also provided so you can see the enclosure is extremely beautiful they've ensured that the natural nature is 
preserved and it's a rainforest so we've kept that authenticity. <laughs> shades and places to, to just come here and sit and proper dustbins where you can put your trash, your cans and there are these machines put at various places in the zoo which you can have you know, juices only at three dollars if you want and if you think dehydrated uh, it uses it takes care of uh, not just cash but also carts if you have and here are another machine you have because the heat is the humidity is quite a lot you have to move everything on foot so there is coke there is different kind of uh, you know drinks available non non alcoholic but yeah I mean there's payment can be made through cash and through credit card so easy to use That the that the section, the hotel that you can come to for lunch. That the I am in restaurant. And as you can see behind me, it's such a beautiful rainforest. The Singapore Zoo. Really loving this. I've been here before, but. I think post in COVID phase it's even more a different feeling to be here.